Today in the studio, we have Dr. Hassan Sadiq, a security strategic expert. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Indeed, it is no longer news that the federal government has named certain individuals as financiers of terrorism in the country. Just last week, 21 individuals, including Tukur Mamo, a Kaduna-based publisher, were named as terrorism financiers in the country. In 2022, during former President Muhammadu Buhari's government, we saw the same trend when the former Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, disclosed that the Nigerian finance Financial Intelligence Unit, NFIU, had compiled a list of 96 financiers of terrorism, although these names were not published. Similarly, last year, the Minister of Solid Minerals, Dele Alake, disclosed that certain wealthy individuals were behind illegal mining in the country, which is one of the major routes through which terrorism and insecurity is fueled. So now, we have seen this pattern over the years, and this has had little influence on efforts to clamp down on insecurity ravaging the country. So, our viewers are worried. Will this recent move of naming terrorists bring significant success in ongoing efforts to tackle insecurity in the country? Thank you very much for having me. I think it is one of the political moves that the current administration has taken, having the boldness to name those who are financing the terrorists. Because across other countries, when you have such things, you have to name them and list them. People should understand that um, it is not on the basis of um, party line that the government has able to come out to name those who, because background check investigation has been carried out by the security agency before such names were being enlisted. So it has now proved that the current administration has the political will to fight the insecurity that is ravaging the country, insurgency and all that. So it is a good thing that the government has named them. But again, it is not only about naming them. What next? We have now also that since the government has named the list of those who are involved, government should now take a rational actions to see deepening into more. Let us know the level of their involvement, prosecutions, and all that, so that it will be able to deter those who are also part of all this cartel in terms of financing, criminal activities and insecurity and cutting off the line which they use and all that. It is on that the country can now say, okay, we are on the part of fighting the insecurity that has been on our neck for over the time. Okay. What ways, what line of actions are you expecting from the government right now? There's nothing because there's a terrorism act that we have in our laws. Now the government has come out and named them. It is the government now to start prosecuting those them, and the law will take its course, and they will now face it. It's very simple, because every country in the world has this terrorist law that if you are involved, either financing or those who carry out such action directly, it is there. Now, they, these people are the people that are now involved in terms of financing, because it takes a lot to finance such activities. So now that these people have been listed among those who are financing the terrorists, then the government will now take them and now prosecute them so that the law can now take its course. So, sir, while this process is ongoing, what are members of the public expected to do? Whoever has link with them, we should know the time is up. That is number one. Any information that further needed, any of the citizens who has it, you have to support the agency to get the information. Then generally, People have now realized that, yes, the government is ready to fight the insecurity in the country. So, which means we should now have a hope that it is up time for those who are involved in such illicit acts. You've been listening to Dr. Hassan Sadiq, a security strategic expert. Thank you for joining us, sir. Yeah, thank you for having me. I am Gloria Atta. Mm -hmm.